Following the loss of the Greasy Creek Community Center due to a fire on the 4th of July, the Pike County Fiscal Court discussed their intentions for reconstruction. The new structure may or may not resemble the original, but it is clear that in time it will be rebuilt. The county is currently examining costs of construction and will begin working on it soon. So the Greasy Creek Community Center burnt down on July 4th. Uh, that's still under investigation. We don't know if it was arson or for some other cause. But as you heard tonight, the fiscal court has every intention to rebuild the uh, community center. We're going to look at some alternative uh, construction, uh, maybe not a log cabin style building, but maybe something that's bigger with a reduced uh, maintenance footprint. Uh, we'll know how much insurance coverage we're going to have uh, in terms of replacement costs, it's some, somewhere around $290,000, $300,000 but our intent is to rebuild the facility. We're going to be starting to work uh, immediately trying to figure out what the best solution is, if it's rebuilding a, a structure like the one that was there or rebuilding a larger uh, metal uh, building type structure that would be more resilient. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The cause of the fire is still unknown as Kentucky State Police continue to investigate. Although they have identified a person of interest, not much else is known at the time. It's my understanding that there's a person of interest, but that is still in the works. I'm not sure uh, where they are with that. Um, obviously, if somebody burnt the building, we hope that they're apprehended and fully prosecuted and, and, would, and would hope that that would be the case. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that if they can prove a case that Commonwealth Attorney Bill Sloan would, would take a, uh, a very hard line stance to what happened to that community. We're going to rebuild the facility. It's just a matter of how much it's going to cost, what type of facility, and when we can get started on it. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.